Good afternoon. What a day. Are you guys ready? Woo! I am Kimber Standig. I'm the Vice President for Advancement and also the proud parent of Christopher Standig, Class of 2023. Thank you all so much for being here today. I also like to extend a huge shout out to DJ Easy for being here today. So I know you guys are ready. I want to hear what this big announcement is. I know you do too. So please join me in welcoming the chair of the Board of Trustees of Connecticut College from the great class of 1982, Fritz Fultz. Wow, great turnout, thank you. Thank you, Kim. Wonderful to be here with all of you today. Truly important day in the history of this college. On behalf of all the members of the Board of Trustees, I want to thank everyone for joining us, part of this celebration today. I want to also thank Kim and President Bergeron for their leadership in bringing us together today. During my time on the board, uh, and most recently as the board chair, when I return to campus, I often think about those black and white photos that you've probably all seen in books, photographs of the campus under construction with the founders of the college, the first faculty members, the first students, and those buildings which are right over there. And I think about the original vision for this college and the courage of the founders to undertake such an endeavor and they literally started with nothing more than an idea and a vision. And then I think back to our position now, and my hope is that the founders and the faculty and the students alike from back then would be proud of what we're accomplishing here at Connecticut College, putting the liberal arts into action. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge the land that we're standing on and the native people who are here, this land's first inhabitants, and that includes the Mashantucket Pequots, the Eastern Pequots, and the Mohegans, and other tribal nations indigenous to New London and the region. And we're grateful to still have them as our neighbors as we seek opportunities for greater connection and partnership. So the first 100 years of Connecticut College have been built on pivotal moments like we are going to experience here today. Moments that in hindsight are observed to be inflection points where the institution took another step forward in its continuing evolution. In 1919, Connecticut College launched its first class of women graduates into the world as the very first institution in this state of Connecticut dedicated to higher education of women. And then 50 years later in 1969, Connecticut College for Women voted to admit men, marking the beginning of a new era, and I am a fortunate beneficiary, having shown up here as a transfer student 10 years after this historic vote. And I have to say I'm very grateful because Connecticut College changed my life for the better in many, many ways. And so now, here we are, 50 years later, stand before you as the chair of the Board of Trustees, and Connecticut College has launched a bold new curriculum, reinventing the liberal arts for the 21st century. And our educational programs today are powered by a new ideal of full participation to prepare our graduates for a new kind of leadership. Today, we mark a moment that will make our college stronger today and for generations to come. We also celebrate the strength of our alumni the impact of our faculty and staff, the inspiration of our students, and the enduring power of a Connecticut College education. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our president, Catherine Bergeron. Here we go. Yes. Yeah. And to tell us more about why we are all here on this very special day. So thank you for coming out today. Great to see you all. Thank you so much, Fritz, for those words and for your leadership of the Board of Trustees. 
And I want to thank all of you for coming out this afternoon on this beautiful afternoon. Yes, I am so happy that we are together here on Temple Green, this iconic spot on our campus, and here on this new stage, the Dune, that has made it possible for us to convene as a community and enjoy the talent and creativity that defines Connecticut College. The events of the past few weeks, the TEDx conference, the spring dance recital, the cabaret, the acapella challenge, Eclipse, mob rock shows, late night films, they've brought a measure of joy at the end of a long and challenging year. So for me, this spring, Temple Green and the Dune are associated with good things, with good news. And that's exactly what we have for you today. Are you ready? <laughs> it is a thrill for me to be able to tell you that Connecticut College has received the largest gift in its history. It is a gift from trustee Robert Hale, class of 1988, and his wife Karen, who are parents of Trevor from the class of 2020. And their gift is in the amount of $30 million. Yes. $30 million. Yes. 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 Now, combined with their previous gift of $20 million in 2015, which was at the time the largest gift in our history, their total giving to Khan is now more than $50 million. <laughs> Connecticut College. <laughs> this is an extraordinary statement at the end of the pandemic about their belief in this college, their belief in you, their belief in us, and our ability to emerge from this pandemic stronger than we ever were before. This gift will make sure that that happens by investing in three important areas that were affected by the pandemic. Our financial aid program, our athletic program, and the campus itself. So, let me say a word about each, about the campus, our historic buildings that Fritz was just referring to. Our historic buildings and grounds, as you know, are the heart and soul of the residential experience. They need continuous care and attention. This gift provides $10 million for immediate improvements at the end of a year when we have seen how important living and working together in residence, in person, is to our mission as an educational institution. The gift also allocates $10 million for athletics, one of the goals of our strategic plan. About half of our students are involved in varsity or club sports. These are two areas that were significantly affected by the pandemic. Athletic competition, as you know, is an important part of student learning. It teaches focus and teamwork and leadership. And the Hales gift will allow us to advance our action plan for competitive success, to make critical improvements to facilities and to coaching excellence as we continue to attract the best scholar athletes to Connecticut College. And finally, $10 million will provide to new endowed resources for financial aid. This is an area that is very important to the Hales and it is very important to us. 
Khan is one of a small number of colleges in this country that promises to meet 100% of a student's demonstrated financial need. This endowment doubles their commitment from their previous gift so that we can continue to bring the best and brightest students from around the country and around the world. This gift is for you. And let's not forget, right over here in Fanning Hall is the Hale Center for Career Development, which came from their first gift. So with their two gifts combined, they have now invested $5 million in career, $10 million in campus improvements, $15 million in athletics, and $20 million in financial aid. This is transformational generosity. It, it will touch the lives of every student on this campus for many years to come. So neither Rob nor Karen could be with us today, but we do have a short video piece that gives you a sense of who they are and what this college means to them. So let's take a look. Being part of the Khan College family means family in the truest sense. It means caring for others, it means growing, it means developing confidence, it means supporting each other. Rob and I have lived the impact of this college. We want it to continue to change the lives of others. This is transformative generosity. And it comes at such an important time as we come through one of the most historic years we have ever experienced. To me, this gift is an action that speaks volumes about the importance of the transformative education we offer at Khan and the importance of our mission of putting the liberal arts into action. At Khan College, the faculty, the staff, the coaches took a keen interest in my confidence, my process, my evolution, my maturity. Karen and Rob want to invest in the experience of every student. With their first gift, they helped us transform our career program to the next level of excellence. They invested in our students with much needed financial aid. They helped us advance our vision for athletics. Now, with their two gifts combined, they will have invested $5 million in career, $10 million in campus infrastructure, $15 million in athletics, and $20 million in financial aid. Thank you, Karen and Rob, for your gifts totaling $50 million and for everything you do for Connecticut College. Join us in impacting our school in a positive way that will last for generations. have exercised a powerful vote of confidence in the future of our college, in the future of the liberal arts. This is a gift that defies boundaries, and it also marks a critical moment in our history in a year that has truly shown who we are, a year when our creativity and our resiliency and our determination to lead have shown no limits. So before I close, I'd like to ask our former chair of the Board of Trustees and our brilliant ongoing chair of our campaign committee, Pamela Zilli from the class of 1975, to offer a few words. If I'd known I was going to follow an announcement of a $30 million gift, I might have asked it to be put in a different order. My remarks are very brief um, and are really directed not just to you out there, the faculty and the staff and the students, but also to all of our alumni and our friends who I hope join the Hales in giving to this college. The Hales obviously have set a new standard of giving in terms of generosity and commitment and belief in this school, which is so important. 
Um, I think for all donors and for all alumni, this gift is galvanizing and breathtaking. I don't think any of us would be here if we didn't believe that a liberal arts education, and most importantly, this liberal arts college um, is so important in teaching its students to think independently, to follow your personal goals, to follow your personal beliefs, and your society's moral standards. For over 100 years, Connecticut has carried out its mission to instill in, instill in its students an intellectual inquiry and integrity. And it's done so with very little fanfare and even fewer resources. Now is the time for that to change, and this gift is the impetus for that. We will not, we cannot be constrained in our vision to defy boundaries and to strengthen the liberal arts in action by a lack of financial resources, by a lack of spirit, by a lack of conviction, by a lack of interest, by a lack of concern. Rob and Karen have reminded all of us, and I'm speaking broadly all of us, all of our alumni, in a powerful way, the part that we can pay in supporting this college. Alumni and friends around the world have shared this vision of giving back. So far in our emerging campaign, over 12,000 individuals have given to this campaign, some in very large amounts, some in very small amounts, but it all adds up to dollars to support this college. We and they give for a lot of reasons. We give to support the college's programs, its students, its faculty, its staff, we give to renovate these buildings. I lived in Branford in 1975, and it wasn't great then, so I can only imagine, I can only imagine what it looks like today. And then I lived in Larrabee, and we won't even go there. There's no doubt that they need renovating, I would say, uh, is a slight understatement. As beautiful as they are, and as beautiful as they will be again. Um, to increase financial aid, as the Hales have done, to support our endowment, uh, which is the lifeblood of this college in terms of helping us meet our operating needs, and to support our students, athletes and artists, scientists and psychologists, mathematicians and physicians and musicians. We give to make a difference. Today we have the honor of celebrating a major gift, and tomorrow I hope we have the honor of celebrating many more. Rob and Karen Hale, we are inspired by the, your tremendous support of the college, and we pledge to join with you and do all that we can to make this great school even greater. Thank you so much. It's been a privilege to be here. Thank you, Pam, for your incredible leadership over more than 20 years of this college, which has made a huge difference to all of us. And now there are just two final things I want to do to conclude. First, I have to express my heartfelt thanks to everyone who made this day possible. And I'm gonna say, call out especially Kim Verstandig, our Vice President for Advancement, and Pamela Dumas Surface, our Vice President for Communications, along with Ben Parent and Christelle LaChapelle in our communications office, not to mention my awesome husband, Butch Rovan, <laughs> who all generously shared their talents while showing their ability to keep a secret, which is a hard thing to do. So everything good always is a good team effort, and I really want to acknowledge that. And finally, I would like us all to join together to send a huge camel thank you to Rob and Karen. I hope it involves some vigorous cheering so that they will be able to hear you across the miles. Here's our visual aid. Thanks to the track and field team. Thank you. I think that the track team is going to waddle over into the crowd so we can get some pictures of the, you and the banner 
And now I hope you will all stay a while. The food trucks are open. Have some treats and enjoy some music from our very own Pros and Cons and the Carly Family Band. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>